I'm needing to adjust the throttle position sensor on my Polaris Sportsman XP850 and I found out you can do it with about $25 worth of parts from Radio Shack and a voltmeter. The information was a little difficult to figure out on how to build this 5 volt power source from Radio Shack parts. Um, the reason why is because they didn't show a diagram or photos of how the parts look all assembled. They just explain it and really don't show you the inside. So this is the inside. This is the 5 volt constant power supply. And you can see that the positive wire from that actually goes out to the positive wire out. That is the 5 volt source. You've got input voltage. It hooks to the middle of this switch. And then the black, all of the black ground wires for the battery and this black ground wire that, that also has an extra green tipped piece on it. That goes to the TPS. The red wire from the power goes to that terminal on, on the switch and then the black ties it all together. The way it's hooked up is you hook power in to the TPS, you hook ground to the TPS, and with the ground you'll connect it to the negative or the the neutral wire on your voltmeter. Then you have a third wire which is the output from the TPS. You'll have three wires basically hooking to the TPS. Power in, ground, power out. So you hook the power out to the positive on the voltmeter. So this tied together piece for black and green is actually so that you have a, a connection for the ground to the voltmeter. And it's something they never really explained. but. This is how it's hooked up to test the voltage that it puts out. You flip the switch, switch does light up, and the voltage goes to 4.96 volts. So that's close to 5. To get access to the TPS, the Polaris Sportsman XP850. You have to remove the seat and the two side panels. And you need to loosen this clamp around the air intake box connection. And then remove these screws. There's a couple underneath that hold this throttle body assembly in place. There's the TPS right back there. Almost forgot. You also have to remove the clamp and that hose from the air intake. Okay, this is what the TPS looks like inside. In this position, the small slot is down and the larger slots are up. I'm talking about these 
little marks. The ground is in the metal. It's the metal connection. The 5 volt tab is on the right. The output is on the left. Okay. Okay, here's what it looks like when it's connected. I've got ground in the middle. I've got the output output on the left and the input red on the right. I've got my voltmeter and the power supply. Switch the power supply on. It's coming out to 0.67. It should be 0.7 volts 0.67 to 68 and according to the manual it's 0 0.70 plus or minus 0 0.05 so technically that's right in the ballpark without adjusting it. To adjust it is another process. Um, shut the power off. To adjust it there's two screws. You can see a mark on that one. There's one on the other side. Those screws have to be loosened and then this whole TPS sensor will rotate on the throttle body. I can go through that too and make sure it's right at 7. Okay, got it all hooked up and adjusted. 7.0. Let's uh, shut that off. Turn it back on again. Yep comes back to 7.0 all adjusted and tightened down just have to put things back together okay the throttle it's all installed just about done putting the covers on but maybe we should try starting it first 